What's going on, Aries? I hope everything is okay, doing good. It's been a minute. I want to thank you guys so much for being a part of this uh, Moo Tribe channel. I thank you so much for the support, the comments, the likes. Rocking with your girl since day one from the time I first started. Um, and I wanted to bring out a message to you guys. I hope, like I said, everyone is in the high spirits, doing good, wonderful. And if not, hopefully this message will help you, okay? So let's go ahead and clear the energy. Ancestors of a highest good and light, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate the messages and only the messages for the collective as above, so below. Close anything that doesn't belong. Keep what does. And we appreciate your guidance. Let's go ahead and put this right here. All right. I just fixed me some coffee because I need a pick-me-up. Mm. When you get some good cup of uh, coffee, it's, it's everything. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry for slurping, but it's really good. All right, so let's see what Spirit want to talk about. Guys, I am giving personals. So if you're interested, please let me know. Um. There's going to be two parts to this. There's going to be this version and then the extended. So we will talk about that for those of you who want to become a member. It's only $3.99 and you don't, it's not a contract. You can cancel at any time. Okay. So Aries, we have karmic ties. Okay. Um, this is the two of cups. What's going on with you? Okay. Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> definitely you here with the king of wands look at this i can't make it up okay so it is about you and a partnership this could be business family lover ex karmic god knows what okay so let's see what's going on with your love life aries <laughs> it is detrimental to your health what Aries, are you torn over somebody? Damn. It says mentally drained and addiction. I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to you. Yeah, I'm hearing by uh, Ryan Leslie, addicted to your love. Okay, so Aries, don't be going down the wrong path because you're hurt or somebody could be hurt. I don't know. Let's talk about it. All right, Spirit, thank you. That came out real quick, and that was a lot, okay? So we have extreme power. Somebody has a lot of power over you, okay? These are my, um, this deck has like oracles of other deities, so if it doesn't resonate with you, we're just going to go with Spirit, your ancestors, and so forth. So the first one here is Metatron, okay? Extreme power and energy, it says, um, Metatron, gratitude for the cleansing and healing properties of my body. Okay. Using my liver to process and balance my body, giving me extreme power. So if you're using some type of pills or narcotics or, you know, something to ease the pain, how can I ease the pain? When I know you're not coming back again, how can I ease the pain? Oh my goodness, what's going on? I'm feeling the songs, okay? So you need to rid something of toxins. What is these toxins? That's what your current energy is. We have Yehuda. Okay, this is the line of Judah. This is divine. This is God. This is your spirit team. This is you. You could be a Leo as well, like strong Leo in your energy um, or dealing with a Leo. We owe it to ourselves to see, to be healed, complete, made whole. I promise myself any and everything that helps and best suits me. I will apply to... Okay, so Spirit is saying what's for you is for you, okay? And Aries, what is going on? Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Understanding of self and of others. I will no longer disregard myself or my feelings. It is my birthright not to be abused. Somebody was abusing you? Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay, I'm on the video. That's my daughter. <laughs> okay, so she just came home from school. It says, uh, to not be misled and to live the life that I say I can have and anything that is conducive to that shall leave my life. It is my oath to myself. Okay? Can y'all see that? It is the oath to myself. Let me see something. It might be two... Yeah. All right. So this is what's crossing. It's about you getting some type of healing, cleansing. You're going through some type of transformation. This is, and then, then it says Yehuda again, the governor. Okay. Raising your frequency. And it says spiritual guidance. Okay. So I feel like your psychic abilities are being raised to get clarity on how to heal from a situation that could be toxic or you could have toxic behavior that is affecting your relationships. That's what spirit is telling me, okay? And I love you, but I, I really do feel like they're talking about you, especially with this lion energy. This is masculine energy. This is fire energy. This is, you know, roar, like being proactive okay let's get let's see what happened in the past thank you spirit tell me what happened in the past for aries that's causing them this emotional roller coaster so in the past we have temperance something about being impatient going to the extremes for love can y'all see that yeah temperance card Going to the extremes for love. I'm trying to do it the best way I know how. The glare is glaring, okay? So this is definitely giving me like some mirror effect. Uh, diligent with money. And then it says short-term happiness. So again, yes, it says it right here in pink. Short-term happiness. I hope y'all can see that. Oh, I don't know why it's glaring. Okay, so you, you haven't been happy. It's like you get into a connection and then it ends. You think something is going good and then there's a, like a surprise. There's like this extreme power of change, okay? Tell me what is crowning Aries, please and thank you. What is crowning Aries, please and thank you. Oh, that's too much, okay? Dang, that's a lot. All right, and these came out, okay, so the governor of swords came out in the reverse, okay? Governor of swords is the king of swords coming out in the reverse. This is someone who's manipulative, impulsive, okay? Someone who's ruthless, irrational, <laughs> You're not being honest with yourself. That's what spirit is telling me. Secrets, talking too much, do what's right, lies. Thank you, I said it. It's right here, lies. You're not being honest with yourself or someone's not being honest with you. And I'm gonna point something out, Aries. It says, embrace every season of your life, right? Right here. It says, embrace every season of your life. And these are the four seasons, okay? So... You are definitely going through a transition with your partnerships, love life. And there's something about spirit is wanting you to become the person that you want to be, not what other people want you to be. Okay. So I think, oh my God. Yeah. Somebody's spirit is about to be arrested. Okay, that was a wake-up call. That's an alarm right there. Okay, so it says the wild card. But before I get to the wild card, spirit was just saying to me that, like I said, what's for you is for you. 
okay? And a lot of times what happens is you try to um, convince yourself why things didn't work. So you could be going back and forth in your head about why something didn't work with someone, but what's for you is for you, right? So if you feel like, you know, somebody didn't see things your way, it's probably because that person is not for you, okay? It's probably because that person is not for you. Oh my goodness. So this is a wild card, okay? So... Um, you dealing with a wild one or you got a wild situation. What's the wild situation? Mm -mm, mm -mm. I have to drink my coffee because I, it'll wind up getting cold. It'll wind up getting cold. Okay. So. It says Philippian. Philippon Dewa, I control me, my soul is mine. So this is about you taking control of your actions and your emotions. You can see this person crying in the car, like tears are falling from their face. Now, and if you're not a crier, even if you're not showing these emotions, they're deep embedded in your heart. Okay. Um, It says, cover, cover me, my manifestations come to me as I call on the higher power. So there's something you want and you feel like you haven't got it. You feel like you're being lied to or you could be lying to yourself and not seeing the truth with the king of swords in reverse. That's what's crowning you, okay? Something about your manifestations not manifesting the way you would like like it comes in but then it's like a carrot being dangled in front of your face that's what i'm seeing and it could be because you're holding too tight to something that you haven't been patient for in a while and spirit is saying you need to gain more patience and clarity um don't go to the extremes for love you know be more considerate with yourself and you will attract someone who's considerate and compassionate and loving as well. Um, for some of you, this could also be just not being honest with yourself about what it is that you really want in love. I can't make it up. It's at the bottom of the deck. It says love is coming. Okay? Love is more than sex. So, Maybe you're more sexually attracted to people. If you okay, so this is what I'm hearing. Like some of you could definitely be the type that you feel like if the sex is on point, then the person is for you. So there's more chemistry than morals and values. Okay. It says don't lose yourself. Be true to yourself. Okay. Trust. Honor yourself, honor your partnerships and your friendships, right? Um, so let's see what's going on with love is coming in the near future. Clarify the near future. Thank you. All right. So the good thing is the doors are opening for you. Success is on its way, okay? And Spirit is saying with this in reverse, it says, watch your words. Do the right thing. So... I feel like um, you see how she's standing in front of a door. I don't know if y'all can see that because of the glare, but she's standing in front of a door. Okay. And I feel like when they say that the doors are opening new employment to success, it says to success, uh, the doors to success are always open. It's time for you to walk through them. It's time for you to believe that what you want is on the other side. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So with this being in a reverse. It's like you're not. You got to be mindful of your words because the king of swords is in reverse. That's someone who beats themselves up. That's someone who is very uh, irrational with their words. 
Um, you could be beating yourself up with your words or speaking negatively with your words, okay? And so what you're doing is you're becoming your own worst enemy. You're blocking your blessings because of the way you think and the way you speak, okay? Oh, that slid out. What is this? Okay, so yeah, so this is Livianite. This is aquatic energy. I'm sorry. I don't know if y'all can see that. It says aquatic energy. Okay, so this is like Aquarius energy. As you handle any situation concerning your family and friends alike, allow uh, yourself the tenacity and clarity to be guided through correctly. So your spirit guides, like I told you with this spiritual guidance here, is wanting to guide you to some type of success. Okay, but you have to be open and listen. Okay, the king of swords in the reverse is someone who's stubborn, who doesn't listen. So let's get some more information. I have the ace of swords. Spirit said that's the truth. Okay, your, your spirit guys is saying you have success if you would only allow yourself to be guided properly. So is there something that spirit told you to do that you didn't do? You didn't listen? I'm asking because I don't know. <laughs> Let's pull a tarot. Mm, some kind of addiction. Cutting out some kind of addiction or obsession. Could be dealing with a Capricorn Aries. Gosh. Okay. Go away. <laughs> Are you telling me to go away, Aries? <laughs> That's what I heard. Like, you don't want to be bothered right now because you're hurting. Boo -boo, don't hurt, okay? Don't feel no way. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're holding too tight to something. Four of Pentacles, okay? <sighs> this is like... Maybe you're sh sh fearing loss or you're trying to control something. You could also be guarded. Your heart chakra is closed right now. Why? Because you're not listening to your spirit team. Look, this is the high priestess in reverse. You're not doing something that spirit told you to do. You're not heeding to the call. And this devil energy is in reverse here. I can't make it up. The devil, okay? Um, it's in reverse, which means that spirit is saying they want you to cut out some type of addiction. What is this addiction you have? Tell me what this addiction is, please. Oh, thank you. Spirit said use the other deck. Aries, we get into the meat and potatoes now. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me more. What is this addiction? For the collective that is watching, please and thank you. Tell me more. There we go. Oh, gambling. Fate. Okay, you always taking risks. Believe it says beliefs fate will intervene and bring the situation or connection together. Mm. Okay, so I mean that's a good thing, I guess. Yeah, and you know what? I I feel like spirit is saying you're trying to control the situation. Being a fire sign, you know, you always want to go out and do it for yourself. You don't want to depend on nobody else. But this is one of those times where spirit is saying you have to listen to your intuition. And yeah, and I feel like spirit is telling you to work on yourself. You know, be patient. Wait. Okay, let me balance this out. And as you can see, this person is holding their hands up to the sea, to their emotions. You got to let spirit. So th there could be some emotions that you haven't dealt with that spirit has been kind of like telling you about it. And um, when it says undelivered fru fruition, right? Undelivered, it's like 
you have too much on your plate or you're doing too much. And you, you need a breakthrough. It's like a breakthrough is trying to come through, but you're trying to do things in your own way. Spirit, what are we talking about with this fake card? Thank you. Mm, two came out. TikTok, okay? So it says TikTok. It says wasting time, too little, too late, dragging your feet, and committal time is running out. You're... Uh, years gone by with little or no improvement. So somebody you was dealing with, you could have possibly took your time with dealing with this person or they could have taken their time dealing with you. You always believe that fate will bring y'all together at the right time. In. But this is one of those things where it says faith is dead without works. So... You made things worse instead of better by not moving at the time that you were supposed to move. Okay? And I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth because it says talks themselves up to feel secure, but underneath feels very insecure about themselves. Insincere and low self-esteem. So you didn't really believe that you had the potential to do something. Mm. Aries, I love you guys. Please don't be mad at me because this reading is about getting to the meat and potatoes of your emotions so you can have good partnerships with people. And I feel like every time you feel like you get in it, it doesn't work out because you're not listening to your intuition. You're not working according to spirit. You're going according to your own understanding. So somebody's seeking revenge. That's what it says. Seeks revenge. Seek revenge for partner hurting them. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Abandoning them or choosing another over them wants others to feel pain. So you want somebody to feel hurt because you hurt. Uh-uh. What are we talking about? Spirit, who are we <laughs> Yo. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm, you know... If you want somebody to hurt because they hurt you, that means that you have a lot of immature ways about yourself. And if this ain't you and it's the other person, take it how it resonates because it's general, then what I'm hearing is that this person is seeking out revenge, but I don't feel like it's the other person. And I'm going to say why, because you came out with the two of cups, king of wands, two of cups with the king of swords in reverse. And this is like betrayal, hurt, pain. And then your spirit team, like everything is saying, listen, love is coming in. Why would spirit be telling you love is coming in if you walked away from a toxic person, right? Unless you, un, unless that person, I don't know. Like, this is crazy. Tell me more, Spirit. You didn't hurt this person. If you the one who won love, why would you hurt somebody? Ooh. Wreckage, okay? It says record, wreckage, okay? Forces others into submission, makes others feel intimidated. Partner. Allows them to win because it's easier than fighting. What? What kind of toxic mofo is this? Different novels, okay? Outgrown each other. Different mindsets. Okay, so you want somebody to do what you want them to do. And Aries, I know you. I know you. You are not the type to... <laughs> You are not the type to want to do what everyone else do. You have it. It's like that leadership energy with the king of wands, right? It's like, I know what I'm doing. Let me take, especially if you're a masculine, okay? If you're a masculine Aries or you're operating in masculine energy, spirit is saying that it's like you wanted to take the will. You wanted the respect. You wanted to be able to um, lead the ship, lead, lead. And maybe you're not a good leader, especially with the king of uh, swords in reverse. Because the king of swords is also a, a, a leader, a good leader in the upright. This is someone who sticks to the facts. And it's like intellectual power. It's like you're not, whatever you did, 
Aries, it's, you weren't operating in a high vibrational level, okay? And so it's saying you and this person outgrown each other. I feel like someone hurt you. I really do. One foot out, one foot in. That's what it says. Look at the sneaker in reverse. Somebody felt like someone was not completely in. Threatens to walk away. Afraid to be rejected. Points out your inadequacies. Engages in outside romantic activities. Cheating. So, who cheated? Who cheated, Aries? You or them? Did they cheat? Because you were taking too long? Or do you feel like this person, this is what you're telling yourself? So you want them to hurt because you feel like they chose somebody else over you? Mm -hmm. I'm just telling y'all what the cards say. And then you got this other shoe. Look at the two shoes. I can't make it up. You got a heel with a boot. So this is the divine feminine. This is the feminine energy that's, you know... And then this is the, 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 the other sneaker in reverse, okay? Going to the, it's like you following behind this person, but you're not operating in the upright. You're operating in the reversal. Look at this. I can't make it up. How you following somebody when you walk in this, the, the bottom of your feet is up and the bottom of their feet is down. Y'all are like mirroring each other. This is a soulmate. Okay, it says movement. For this person. So I'm going to say right now. If this person hurt you and left you. is because Devon told him to walk away. Takes the necessary steps to move forward. Even if filled with fear. But allows hope to guide them towards their goals. Okay. You need to follow your Devon counterpart. And you don't want to do the work. You don't want to do the healing work. That's why I came out here with these seasons. Just spirit guides is advising you. That there's things in you that you need to heal. And this is why this relationship did not work out the way you wanted it to work out. Because somebody was elevating higher than the other person. And when people come together no one can could make you heal or cause you to elevate you have to do your work for yourself or what will happen is that this person who does whoever it is that does the 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 awakening and the healing in their life they're going to outrank you ciao look excuse me Okay, this is somebody who's sitting in the dark looking through a portal. It says, regrets marrying the person they are with should have trusted their instincts, living in regret and wants to leave but has difficulty. So some of you could be married to someone going through a divorce or this could be somebody from your past that you still have not healed the situation and you tried to move on to a new situation and it did not work it, you attracted this person because you're optimistic by nature you always see the cup half full but is the cup clean I told you, you always see the cup half full. You always ready to partner and be a part of a team. Like you are a team player. It's just that you want to be the leader too. Ooh, look at the King of Swords came back out again in the reverse. Spirit said, yep. Mm -mm -mm. Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you've given up on your, your healing. You're not you're not in alignment with your healing. You know this is something that you have to do. Okay? You're not happy with the achievements in your life. And when you're not happy, when you're not happy with pursuing your goals and accomplishing your personal goals and you're going into a connection with somebody on high vibration, what happens is you begin to regret this person or you cause um, you taint the connection because somebody is not elevating. Somebody is not successful all on their own. That's what spirit is telling me. Oh, okay. So we have the two of swords, the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Okay. It's like, um, 
The two of swords is someone who's crossing their hands over their heart. So there's an emotional block. With the king of pentacles, this is someone who's unhappy with whatever opportunities they come. Like, it's an opportunity here, but it's like you don't see... You don't see what needs to be done in order for you to get this to grow, something to grow, okay? This is like a stalemate, like someone who's stuck. Mm, Lord have mercy. Yeah, because of something that happened in the past with the Three of Swords. And then look what's poking out, okay? This is wisdom. This is the Hierophant, okay? <clears throat> Wow. So tell me more. We already have 40 something minutes. Wow. Aries, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're unhappy and you feel unsuccessful. You're not happy with your success. You don't feel like you've accomplished something. And it's because Spirit is saying that even though you're optimistic, the sun is here, which is the happiest card in the deck. But at the same time with the Six of Wands, you don't feel like you're getting your accolades, you know? All right, y'all. So let's see. I'm going to see what Spirit tells you to do, all right? Especially with this Three of Swords, with the Ace of Swords and the Devil. It's about releasing some type of energy that is you're addicted to. Maybe this is a certain mind frame or mindset that you're in that you need to come out of, Okay. Uh, um, and then I'm going to also see about your future relationships. So y'all could go ahead and check me out in the extended. I'm going to end it here. This went on a whole lot longer than it was supposed to. I do see 31 minutes. So we did good. All right. So if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave a comment. And check me out on the extended if you want to know more about what you should do move forward so that you can get the healing and uh, success that you so desire. Because it's definitely there. With this Six of Wands being here, there's a blockage. Why you're not receiving your accolades, even though it's your destiny to be successful. Okay? Deuces.